Hello, hello, and welcome to creatingwebsite.org, where our mission is to teach you how to create a website. Would you like to create some amazing lead pages? Well, our topic today is going to be a landing pages tutorial. That's right, we're going to be giving you a landing pages tutorial. We would like to introduce you to one of the most dynamic landing pages builder for WordPress entitled Thrive Content Builder. See this page right here? We're going to walk you through on how to build this page with the Thrive Content Builder. I know you may have been expecting a lead pages review, a lead pages tutorial, or a lead pages WordPress plugin that is average, but this plugin is simply amazing. As a matter of fact, we would like to give you a Thrive Content Builder review and a Thrive Content Builder tutorial of how this amazing plugin works. And we're going to walk you through step by step on how we created this web page with this plugin. You can build a lead page in a fraction of the time that it takes with other lead page builders. Are you looking to get response for your landing pages? Well, this plugin will generate landing pages that convert. Not only that, for all you who use WordPress, this is a great plugin to build landing pages in WordPress. We would like to give you a landing pages example. Example. So let's go ahead and build a page and see how long it will take us. What I'm gonna do is this page here, we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna go to our editor, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these things we have here. Let's go ahead and delete them all. We're gonna delete them all. Let's see how long it's gonna take us to build that awesome page. So we're gonna go here, delete everything that we've seen. You know, see me do it. We we'll delete everything. Delete that. Let's see here. Bear with me as I delete it. Okay. And we're gonna get a blank page, and then we gotta go back here and delete our image. So let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start from scratch. Okay. So let's go ahead and delete this here, and we'll delete that. Page. Okay. So we have the white page. Let's go ahead and add the background image. In order to add the background image, you're gonna go down here on the right hand side where it says page section. Go ahead and put that in here at the top. Okay, now we want to click here and click where it says background image and we're going to select our image and we're going to hit insert. There's our image. Now we want the margins. Uh, we want to bring it down about 400, I believe it is. Let me see. Let me see how that looks. Okay, might want to go a little bit more. So let's see margins. The top, we want to put zero. And we want to choose static image. And now it brings it down. Let's go ahead and go a little bit more because we can't read the whole thing. So let's go ahead and do maybe 500 for our, there we go. Okay, so there you go. Now you can see your image, your background image. It's static image. That means it's going to stay in place when we scroll. Let's go ahead and add our image to the top, which is this right here. So we're going to go ahead and go over here and get image. We're going to select it. We're going to bring it up to the top. And we're going to hit add media, get our image, select it, insert into the post. And let's go ahead and center it. And let's resize it. All right. And our margins. Uh, let's take away the padding so it'll be all the way at the top. Let's see here. Let me see. What did I do here? I want it to go all the way to the top. Let me see if I could bring it to the top here. Let's see. There we go. All right. I have two of these things here, so let's erase that. All right, so now we got our background image. We got our, we offer WordPress tutorials image. Now we want to add this image here. So let's go ahead and add another uh, image. Let's bring it up. Let's see here. We're going to hit add image. Oh, wait, let me think. I need to, I think I need to do something different. Let me see here. I think we need to add a content container. So we're going to bring that in here. I think that's what we need to bring is a content container. And then inside of there, we're going to put our image because we want this one to be on the bottom. So we're going to click image and we're going to bring it into our content container. Okay. And then we're going to click this image here and we're going to hit insert. There it is. And now we want it to come down. So let's go to our, our margins, our padding, and let's go to the bottom. Let me see. Let's try 200. Okay, let's go a little bit more, 300. All right, let's try 400. Boom, there it is. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you can resize it. Let's center it and resize it to what we want. Let's see. Let's go ahead and close that. 
close that. Let's go ahead and hit save. It's coming along. So now we've got our image at the top. We have our image here on the bottom. And you can make it clickable. If you want them to click and go somewhere, you just click this, click this link here, right? And then you type in where you want them to go. Let's say we want them to go to www.creatingwebsite.org and we hit save so now you have a clickable link here let's go ahead and save it and we're going to preview it and see how it's coming along looks a little crooked to me but let me see if i could fix that for you just in case let me see let's preview it because our goal is to get it to look like this all right so let's see where we're at okay oh it's coming along all right so let's go ahead and we got to see how it's static image so when you scroll it stays there that's pretty cool okay uh, i think we got an extra thing in there so let's go ahead and delete that all right now what we want to do is we want to what's our next thing we got here uh let's go ahead and add this let me show you how simple that is you want to go down here you want to add another page section okay and then in this page section we're going to add a pricing Where is it at? Pricing. This is how simple it is. And I'm doing this all live right here. You want to add a pricing table. Boom. How many rows you want? You want three. So there's your pricing table. Say you want them to be blue. So let's go ahead and change the colors. Okay. And you want the one highlighted uh, column. You want that to be green. So let's go ahead and change that to green. Make it a little darker. Hit OK. And let's make these a little bit darker blue. So you want the main, let's see, colors. You want the main column background to be a little bit darker. So go ahead and scroll up. You hit OK. And then you hit Save. All right. Next thing we have in our here is we have a picture, an image. So let's go ahead and go ahead and insert that image once this is done saving. So what we're going to do again is you want to come over here, hit Page Section. It adds a section for your page. And then you want to add an image so you go back up here and you get your image click it and it's going to insert it you bring it up into your page section make sure it turns into a plus hit add media get your image hit insert into post and there's your media image you can resize it you can make it smaller you can make it bigger you can center it you can add a border say we want a two pixel border border type say you want a groove there's your groove uh, you want to make it clickable, you just click this and say you want it to go to uh, creatingwebsite.org again. Creatingwebsite.org. You can make it go wherever you like. And now you got your image. We're going to hit save. Let's see. The next thing we got is WordPress hosting special with a countdown timer. That's nice. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add another uh, page, page section. So that separates the section. You could even change the colors. So let's make this one white. So we're going to go here. So that way you can see the separate pages. So we're going to scroll down. See how it turns to white right there. Boom. I'm going to make this white. Uh, let me see where we at here. Uh, let me see. I think that's the border. That's the shadow. I chose the wrong thing. Background color. I'm going to make it white. There we go. Boom. Let's get rid of that background shadow I don't really want that so let's go ahead and turn that off okay and then what you want to do is you want to add a countdown timer so you go over here countdown timer you select it and you want to say regular countdown so you put that in here then you slide it up to where you just added your page boom and you want to center it go there maybe you whatever hours how many ever hours you want minutes you could put a date whatever date so you got a special going on all right so let's see what else we got here we got uh some typing so let's go ahead and put some typing so you want to put content box so you want to go ahead and select content box and it's going to give you a box right here uh let's see where's our content box where did it go let's see let me off let me see content box I got to choose what style I want. No, not content box. You want um, content container. 
Boom. So now we're going to type what we want here. Your content goes here. Let's see. Word, press, hosting, special, limited, time only. Word, press, hosting, special, uh, 299. 299. Let's make it bigger. 45. And let's go ahead and bold that. Okay, so now you got that. You got the timer clicking at the top with a limited time special. Okay, let's see what else we got. No, we're not a nice video here. Okay, that's pretty cool, huh? Oh, we got an add to cart button. Hello, and thank you once again for Let me stop by. the video. So let's go ahead and add an add to cart button in case they want this special. So you go over here and see where it says button. You click that. Click on the button if you want to make it green. Change the color. You come over here. And let's make it green. Boom. Let's make it a little darker. Um, like the darker green better or brighter. If you want to center it, you go over here, hit center. And you got different styles, whatever style you want. That's pretty cool. You can make it smaller, bigger. You can make your font bigger. Uh, size, what do you want? Normal. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hit save. See what we got. We started off with this. <laughs> and our goal is this. So let's see where we're at now. Let's go ahead and preview. I'm going to go ahead and close our old one. And let's see what we got. Okay, we got a static image in the back. We got it going down there. We got our image there. Okay, it's starting to look like this one here. Oh, we've skipped this. We don't have that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that. So I think what we need to do, let me see, what did I forget? Okay, why choose us? So let's go ahead and hit page. We're going to do page section again, but let's bring this section on up. Let's bring it on up to, to here, and we need to add an image there. Pretty amazing, huh? Pretty amazing, and it's quick. Okay, we want to add our image there. Let's go get it, and our image is why choose us. Insert it into your post. And oops, I'm thinking, but this one needs to be your background image. So let's go ahead and delete that because you want it to stretch all the way across. So you want to choose background image, then select that, and your background image makes it go all the way across. See that? See how it goes all the way across? So now you want to add some space in there. Uh, let's do maybe 45. See how that comes out to be. And at the top, let's do maybe 100. See how that, okay, it's getting there. Let's try 150. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, let's do 150 at the top also. Boom. Oh, we need to do more because there's some more typing. So we'll do 200 by 200. I think it's looking good. Go ahead and hit save. It's coming along. Not bad at all. Remember, our goal is this. Nice looking web page or landing page. Let's go ahead and preview what we have right now. Let's see what we got. And someone would charge you maybe $1,000, $1,500 to create a website like this. Look at that. Okay, so what I think we need to do is let's change this background to white. So let's go over here because it blends in too much. So let's select it. And you go to color and background color. We want to choose white. So let's go ahead and slide it over to white. Hit OK. So now it differentiates each other. And let's change the other one to gray. I think that has the timer. Oh, they made it blue. Let's make it blue. I like that. So let's go to blue. So we're going to go to background color. I'm going to select it. And let's make it blue. Where's blue at? Blue. That's pretty cool. I like that. Boom. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. So now we got that. We got the timer. We got the add to cart. Let's add a video. Okay. So now to add a video, we want to go to page section again. It's going to pop up on the bottom. And then you want to add a responsive video. So you go here to the right where it says responsive video, you click it, bring it up to your new page section, and you want to get your video uh, URL. So let's go to YouTube, and let's go grab one of our video URLs. Let me see, Meta Slider is one of the videos that we've made. Okay, let's grab that one. Let's pause it. We don't want to watch it right now. Get share. Click the URL of the video, copy and paste it. And when you come over here, you hit add video, right? And then it's going to ask you if it's YouTube, Vimeo, or Vista. We want YouTube. And we're going to click paste it in there. 
then we're going to hit OK. You could do auto high player controls, high video title bar, auto play, high full screen button. All right, so we want that video to be there. So there's your video. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. And then I think we have one more thing on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and put that on the bottom, which I think is another page section. So we'll click that page section. And where is it at? Page section. Go ahead and click that. And we're going to add some content. So let's see where are we at content. Let's do a paragraph. And let's bring that up into our section. And let's type uh, creating website. Creating website. WordPress tutorials. However you want to put it. And you can make the size whatever you want. Let's do 45. Let's bold it. Put it in the center hit ok oops i misspelled it creating website wordpress tutorials hit save and learn to make your own wordpress website uh, you could put that if you want you don't have to but we just put that you know make your own make your own website boom let's go ahead and center it boom there we go hit close that Hit save, preview it, see how it looks once we save it. And let's see if we reached our goal. Here's our page that's coming up that we've saved. And let's see what we got. Looks pretty good to me. There it is. We've created this in under what, 15, 20 minutes? So Thrive Themes, Thrive Themes Content Builder landing pages look really nice and professional. As you can see, look at that. Creating landing pages that are dynamic landing pages is very simple with Drive Content Builder. Yes, you also get responsive landing pages with this plugin. So if you were to look at it on an iPad or a phone, it responds to the iPad and the, and the iPhone or, you know, it, it's a responsive theme. You can compare lead pages versus optimized press versus Drive Content Builder. In our opinion, Drive Content Builder rates among the top. This page is coming out really good. Look at that, and we're pretty much done. No coding has been used at all, and it's all drag and drop. As we all know, landing pages in 2015 is a big thing, and many people are using them. But now you can make a landing page that is a professional looking page that looks just like a website. All right, so we put a link in the video. If you would like to get Thrive Content Builder, we are an affiliate. So if you sign up, I get a little credit. We get credit here at creatingwebsite.org. And look at that. From scratch, you've seen us start from a white page to this. And it's we haven't even used 20 minutes of your time. Someone would charge you $1,000, $1,500 to get a website that looks like this. And this is pretty good. All right? So we'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. This is creatingwebsite.org. Hello and thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. I would like to personally invite you to become a Creating Website Insider where you'll get behind the scenes footage, exclusive videos, and free enrollment to our online class, How to Make a WordPress Website for Beginners. If you're interested, go to www.learntocreateawebsite.com or click the link in the video. Talk to you later.